Hello everybody, I'm Mrs Bridges, I'm Head of Science here at North Bromsgrove and I feel very, very privileged to lead such a wonderful department. We're made up of nine teachers in total, which is quite large and also we're very lucky that we have four fantastic lab technicians to support us as well. Uh, we've got really, really fantastic resources here, fantastic rooms, all really, really well equipped. We offer A-levels as well, which um, my science teachers will discuss with you when they introduce themselves following this short video. Um, I'm really happy to show you around our fantastic um, labs as well today. So all of our labs are exactly the same in size, they're just painted a slightly different colour. Um, so as you can see, this is my lab, it's really, really bright, really sunny. Um, it's a really, really nice learning environment to be in, as are all of the labs. So I'm just going to show you my lab so that you can see what a lab would look like. So I've got fume cupboards in mine as I'm a chemistry teacher. Um, the tables are laid out due to COVID at the moment, but you can see that there's plenty of room. They're really, really huge labs. We've got interactive whiteboards in all labs as well, um, so we're able to play videos and really get that quality teaching as well and explanations. Um, and we've got huge practical desks um, to show demonstrations, although we do love our practical work. You'll see all of the outside space around the room, which is where you will do your practicals when you come to North. Hi there again. Just to introduce all of the members of the science department, so, so I've already introduced myself. I'm Mrs Bridges and I'm the head of science. So we're all science teachers at Key Stage 4, but obviously we specialise at Key Stage 5. So for Key Stage 5 for A-Level, I teach A-Level Chemistry. When you come to North Bromsgrove to study science, um, we do teach you all three, Biology, Chemistry and Physics, so you will have to study all three and some people are not too sure about that and that's a question that I quite often get asked. Just to show you some of the books that we um, use with you for chemistry, so we've got a textbook which we um, use in class with you, there's a revision guide which you can purchase from us. And um, there's also, we've brought for everybody this year, these really, really nice workbooks, which we actually use in class to help consolidate some of your learning as well. And then we also have the lab practical books, which we do when we do practicals with you. With, um, with science at North Bromsgrove, we do lots of practicals. We're very practical orientated. Um, and these are the special books that we give you out. Um, just to show you a little bit of the work that we've done with students, there's a few examples here of this week's work that we've done so far. Hi, I'm Miss Walls, uh, I'm one of the science teachers and I'm also progress leader for Year 9. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hi, my name is Mr Smith, I teach A-level physics and uh, science at GCSC. Uh, this is a Rubens tube which, uh, when you put sound waves through it, show you how they would look as a sine wave. I'm Mrs Farmer and um, I actually teach human biology at BTEC um, in year 12 and 13 but I also teach science at GCSE and I absolutely love physics. Don't get too close for this, to this because you may get a shock. Okay that's a Van de Graaff generator which shows you static electricity. Um, here if you want to have a look we have um, some really good examples of students work, um, it's beautiful um, and just gorgeous colours and everything like that and they've really paid attention to their notes and we've also got some textbooks that we use as well. Hi, I'm Dr Middleton. I am one of the science teachers at North Bromsgrove High School, but I also, as you can tell, teach a lot of biology and human B-Tech as well and anatomy. So what we've got here, this is little Nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of our gerbils from Animal Club. She's only one year old and she shares her lovely cage with Snowflake, who is apparently hiding at the moment. So I'll pop her back for now. Do hope you can come to our Animal Club. They are really friendly. Right, in you go. Right, so in biology then we're really lucky, we've got a huge number of resources, they're really stimulating for us scientists and as you can see we've got a beautiful model, all of the other students, particularly the high ability group 7 above will use these high A level microscopes. We are very very lucky that we have microscope slides pre-prepared and we offer a huge range of practical skills. Um, here we've got some exemplar work from some of our higher students which shows some of the peer assessment that's been going on and I hope you can see the high level of presentation that we expect from all our students. 
Um, we do a lot of science and practical work here in biology and obviously cell biology is one of our favourites and we'll have a look at some of the cell models in a minute. I'll pass you over now to my colleague. Hello, I'm Mrs Amor and I teach science at GCSE and A-level biology and uh, over on the wall just over here I'll give you some examples of some models that students have been busy making. And here we have some lovely cell work that the students have been doing as a retrieval task to see what they learned about cells. Right, in biology we think models are really key at helping students develop their understanding and so these are some homeworks that students of Miss Aymore have made showing the double helix and we can see that they've been challenged to come up with a variety of ways of showing how the double helix is shaped and how the bases interlock. Hello, Mrs Bridges here again today. So in addition to offering the separate science course and the combined science course, we have lots and lots of extracurricular activities. Um, to us, science isn't just about what we do in the classroom, it's about making it as real as possible and giving you lots of opportunities to extend what we do in class in um, extracurricular activities. So I'm going to pass you over to another member of the department, Mr Eaton, who's going to talk through some of the clubs and extra activities that we do in science. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mr Eaton. We do a uh, dinosaur club at lunch times. We also do a sci-fi film club at lunch times. And we have an after school STEM club where we have all sorts of different activities involving engineering and science projects. The school actually also does different uh, trips outside of school. Last year, for instance, the year 11s went to the Space Dome. The year uh, 12s went to Birmingham University and we also had a STEM club visit to Worcester College. So there's plenty of after school activities that students can take part in.